I got a relatively quick video for you today. Today we're going to discuss variable scope in Java. Variable scope is where a variable can be accessed. There's two levels we'll discuss today, local and class. We'll cover local first. Inside of a method, if you declare a variable, it has what is considered a local scope. In this demonstration, let's create a variable of x. x will equal some number such as 1. And then, you know, we can print whatever x is. x equals 1. A variable declared inside of a method has a local scope. And I'll just add a comment that this is a local variable. Outside of the set of curly braces, where this variable is declared, x isn't going to be recognized. That's why if we create another method, we would have to pass it as an argument. Let's create another method. This will be a static method that doesn't return anything. I'm just going to say it's the do something method. Inside of other methods, you can declare variables that have the same name. Within this other method, we're going to create an integer variable of x, but x is going to equal 2. So Java isn't giving us any warnings. It is legal to have variables with the same name, as long as they're within different methods. The moment I place this variable within my main method, Java is giving us a warning. Variable x is already defined in the scope, this local scope. Variable x within main has a local scope. Variable x within the do something method also has a local scope. And I'll just add a comment that this is a local variable. If I was to print x within this method, and if I was to call this method, what do you think will output? 1 or 2? Take a guess. 2. Within the context of our do something method, x equals 2. This method isn't aware of the existence of this variable within this method of main. They each have a local scope. It's kind of like their neighbors. They can't see inside of each other's house. Now, a class variable is declared inside of a class, but not within any methods. You usually see them at the top. Let's create a static variable, an integer of x, where x equals 3. Variable x within this class of main has a class scope. In our analogy of houses, you could say that this variable is out in the street. These two methods can look out their window and see variable x and that it equals 3. If I was to delete these two local variables and print x, here's the result. x equals 3. Or within our main method, if I was to print x, x also equals 3. Let's say that each method is a house their neighbors. You could say that a class variable is outside. They're walking down the street. Both of these methods can look outside their window and see this variable. Now, if you had a mix of both local and class variables that share the same name, let's say int x equals 1, and this was a local variable, and within our method of do something, x equals 2. Let's call the do something method. We'll print x within the main method and then within the do something method. What do you think the output is going to be? Well, we have 1 and 2. Even though there's a third x variable within the class scope, Java likes to use any local variables first if they share the same name as any class variables. Within our method of main, this method thinks x equals 1. It's going to use the local scope first. You'll likely want to stick with local variables over class variables. There are a few situations when a class variable would be better, such as if you have constants where the value doesn't change, or when working with object-oriented programming, which is a whole other topic. So that is variable scope in Java. Anything with a local scope is declared inside of a method or otherwise within a set of curly braces and is only recognized within this method. Other methods aren't aware of its existence. That's sometimes why we pass them as arguments to other methods. Class variables are declared inside of a class. They are recognized throughout the entire class. And well, everybody, that is variable scope in Java.